Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here again with Success Training and welcome to the Trending Module. This is by far one of the most powerful social media mechanics you guys are ever going to learn and this is something that you will never ever see in any other WSO or info product. So I'm really excited that you decided to purchase this one guys. You're definitely not going to regret it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how absolutely anybody can take advantage of social media massacre and trend a hashtag on Twitter or Facebook. Now imagine how powerful that is. Twitter alone has 190 million unique visitors. So once again, sit back for a second and think about that. But just like I always say, guys, not going to waste a whole lot of time. You're going to get right into it. So what are we going to cover in this training section? The first thing we're going to talk about is what trending is and why it is important to making your online or offline business go viral. Trending actually works hand in hand with branding. So as I said in the last module, um, I'm definitely discuss the, the relationship that the two share. So you guys are definitely going to want to check out the branding module um, to really maximize your your success with this with this system. Uh, but trending is basically an extension of branding in our own social media culture. Social media is so new and the internet is still so new that this is something that marketers are still kind of dabbling in and trying to figure out. Um, but once again guys, trending and branding are basically the same thing. Except trending is you know, favored by internet marketers for the simple reason of um, you know, getting tons of traffic, leads, sales, but without branding, without that branding element, you're not going to fully utilize uh, trending. And trending is something that can definitely take time. It's not something that everybody's going to get right outside of the box and get to the front page of Twitter immediately overnight. And it's something that takes time. It takes practice. It takes work. We're also going to talk about how to choose a hashtag to trend and how to trend that hashtag. So what is trending and why is it important? Well, in the summer of 2008, Twitter introduced the Trends feature to track the most popular buzz on the Internet. And eventually, websites like Facebook picked it up. I believe Pinterest is, is getting ready to uh, introduce a, a Trends feature. So as of September 2014, that's the latest buzz. But not sure if that's actually true or not. Don't quote me on that. But um, regardless, trending is something that's very popular. It's, it's growing in, in, in how... Um, how much it's, it's really just taken for granted as, as a part of the internet and as a part of uh, social culture. So uh, it's, it's become very important and it's only going to get more important. So you guys are definitely on the right track for what is long term. Uh, but trending is by far the most powerful aspect of social media massacre if you are only interested in traffic, if you're only interested in, in getting attention to something. Obviously, you need to understand that trending works with every other module that I discuss. So you're not going to fully take advantage of trending without having that knowledge of these other modules. But you can still do some really powerful stuff with just this trending module alone. And it's going to give you the power to put your message into the eyes of the entire Twitter and Facebook network. So, I mean, as I said, how does you know, getting your message into the eyes of 190 million plus people sound. You know, this trending is something that you can really, if you think that getting to the first page of a specific hashtag is powerful, imagine getting to the very front page of the entire Twitter network of just how powerful that is. And trending is what allows large corporations like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Walmart to promote their events and new items on Twitter and Facebook and really to dominate the social scene. So imagine being able to harness that power as a, as a little guy. So I'm going to show you guys how. So this is a picture of where trends can be found on Twitter. And that's, that has nothing to do with who I'm following, what I'm interested in anything of that nature. This is completely just these trends show in front of the entire network regardless. There's no variables, nothing. So imagine having your hashtag on that list of just how incredibly powerful that would be. And trending is going to allow you to obviously get your message into the 
eyes of the entire Twitter network and Facebook network. Uh, but it's also going to really give you a chance to scale your business quickly and significantly and really draw in awareness for specific events, promotions, deals, anything like that. Um, and it's really also, just like I always tell people, Social Media Massacre is really about getting your message into the eyes of those who really matter in your niche. Getting 50 people to your website in an hour is is great, but getting your message into the eyes of somebody who really matters can really be a life-changing thing for you. And that's what I want to see everybody talking about. I don't want to see, you know, I, I love hearing about how people are getting traffic and conversions, they're getting sales, whatever. That's great. But as I always say, that's the real heart and soul of Social Media Massacre is to really spark the interest of those who matter in your niche. And obviously, as I said, trending and branding work hand in hand, so trending will definitely allow you to boost your branding quite a bit. So how does trending tie into Social Media Massacre and what can I expect from trending? Well, trending plays a very important role in boosting the awareness of your brand. Um, as I've said countless times already in this presentation, uh, trending is and will always be, and I'm sure if you look five years from now, trending will have developed into something completely different. But trending is a part of your image. It's literally an extension of your branding, as I've, as I've said. So you want to, you definitely, when you're formulating your hashtag, as I'll discuss in a few minutes, you're definitely going to want to think about what's important in your business, what you really stand for. You're going to want to be very aware. Social media requires you to be very aware and on your feet of what's happening in the world around you. For example, something that many businesses have been extremely successful with, and I'm talking small businesses racking up millions of dollars, um, small town guys, literally. Uh, is from the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. For those of you, as of once again, this is recorded in September of 2014, so if you're listening to this in 2016 or 2017, you're probably wondering, what the heck is that? But uh, it was basically a fundraiser for those who suffer from ALS. Uh, and it, it was either people would dump a, a bucket of ice water on them or they would donate to charity. So people have really businesses have really really picked up with this and, and gained a lot of momentum so it's something that you, once again this this goes back into how trending plays into branding and other real world I mean these are these are things that even though trending is something that is on the internet it still follows the same mechanics that everything else does in marketing so it's definitely very important to be aware of what's happening around you in social media to trend really successfully. And trending is not a way in and of itself to boost your list building, your leads, and your sales. However, if you use it properly, trending can boost your brand presence and in return boost your sales and your leads. So this is not something that you're just going to want to get to the front page of Twitter and just start racking up, um, <laughs> you know, 500, 600,000 views in a couple hours. You know, if you're sending somebody to a squeeze page with that, you're really missing out on how powerful this is. This is so much larger than that. You need to step outside of the small mindedness of just sending somebody to a squeeze page with this method. You need to be looking at the large scale of, of what you need to be sending people to um, in order to really make trending work. Things like once again, like charities, fundraisers do really well. It, it needs to be something that social media is going to eat up and interact with. Um, once again, you can actually, uh, recent events is another great one you guys can check out. But once again, the whole purpose of this slide, guys, is just if I can really get one thing into your head, it's just you need to stay on your feet in social media to trend really well. So remember that. So how do I choose a hashtag to trend? Well, contrary to what you were taught in the original Social Media Massacre, the one you know where you were, I was teaching you how to get traffic with this method, you're going to want to create your own unique hashtag to trend. You're not going to want to do hashtag health or hashtag make money or hashtag business. That's not a good idea. That's not going to get you nearly as much as exposure as having your own hashtag. 
look at it this way. When somebody clicks on a trending hashtag in the trends list, is it just going to be tweets talking about you, your company, and your business, your website, whatever? Or is it going to be thousands, if not millions, of people talking about their different websites? Because that's very, very different. And if you want to do that, that's fine, but I teach you how to do that in the original product. So trending is much, much more powerful than that because you're literally forging your own little road. So you definitely want to be creative. You want to take, I would say, take a, a pen and a piece of paper and write down 10 different hashtags of things that would work very, very well for you and your business. Um, you know, you're going to want to be funny, inspirational, whatever. Just be creative. And I mean, if you, for example, if you run a YouTube channel, try making a hashtag for your channel name. Uh, if you run a charity, try using hashtag change the world or whatever hashtag cure ALS, whatever. Uh, just keep it serious, keep it professional, keep it clean, and, and don't be spammy with it. Don't ruin this method by uh, trying to get a quick buck because that's just simply not going to happen. Um, and believe me, once again, if you trend properly, if you build your business with trending properly, you're talking about thousands, hundreds of thousands, may, possibly millions of dollars could be made or raised using this. So if you're doing this trying to promote a free ebook or a 4.99 CPA offer, you're just completely missing out on on what really can be done with this. Um, and once again, guys, you're going to want this to be professional looking, inspirational, legitimate, relevant, and even funny. I mean, the list goes on. Just, if anything, be creative. And also remember that the hashtag part of this is really make or break. So you're going to probably want to split test several hashtags. You're going to want to do multiple tests to see what really trends well. Um, always make sure that you're tracking your results. You, you don't want to just put all your eggs in one basket. That's just a very bad idea in any business situation. So how do I trend a hashtag on Twitter? Well, in order to trend a hashtag, you're going to need to tweet as many times as possible using that hashtag. Normally, this would be impossible, but with Social Media Massacre, you can do this very easily. In Add Me Fast, there is a section dedicated, I'll show you in a minute, there's a section dedicated called Twitter Tweets, and this allows you to enter any message, any hashtag. I show you how to do this in the original video, except we're using favorites and retweets instead of um, actual tweets. But this allows you to basically share your message and people will tweet it out as many times as you want. So you can rack up 5,000, 10,000, 100,000 tweets with your message and your hashtag. So this will get Twitter to think, wow, this is starting to get really popular. But that's definitely not enough. You're still going to want as many separate different tweets. You're not going to want the same message. You're going to want several different tweets. Um, and you're going to want to pick out which ones are being tweeted and, and refavorited as is. And you're going to want to be sending re more retweets and favorites to those tweets. So you're going to want to show Twitter that not only is this being tweeted a lot, but people are interacting with these messages. Because it's simply not enough. There's a two-part formula for Twitter. There is the frequency, and then there is the importance of the messages within that frequency. So you need to show Twitter that there is definitely both in order to really trend effectively. So how do I trend a hashtag on Facebook? Trending is a little bit different on Facebook. There are two different types of trending. There is the regular hashtag trending and then there is contextual trending. Contextual trending actually exists on Twitter but it is so, so small in comparison to hashtag trending that most people don't even bother to talk about it. But contextual trending is when a website observes that a certain keyword or phrase is being posted in a large volume. Uh, for example, if you go on Facebook in their trend section, you can actually see that, I believe recently Joan Rivers passed away, unfortunately, but you could actually see that Joan Rivers was a trend, but there was no hashtag. It was just Joan Rivers. That's an example of Facebook's contextual trending because so many people included Joan Rivers in their statuses uh, that it picked up as a trend. So you actually definitely want to 
pay attention to your keywords in Facebook when you're doing your split tests and when you're actually doing building up your trending because Facebook is going to pay a lot more attention to that than Twitter is. Uh, but hashtag trending still plays a very important part in Facebook trending and it's still I would say it accounts for at least 50 to 60 percent of trending but it's very important to realize that if you have both you're increasing your chances drastically of reaching the trends list and here's a picture for the for the Twitter method of add me fast there's the Twitter tweets option uh, once again a little box will pop up I believe it's actually popped up it's hidden under the menu right now but you can fill out your tweet you can add your hashtags you can do whatever you want basically with that uh, set your CPC and you're good to go and uh, there's actually I forgot that I added a photo in here there's the actual box where you can add your your stuff in guys sorry about that uh, but once again remember that you're gonna want to um, you're gonna want to do your your hashtag research um, as to making sure that you're not using one that's already being used you really want to do something that's really creative and really goes your own way in order to maximize this and really take full advantage of this and here's the Facebook one uh, Facebook share Facebook uh, likes followers post like post share I would take advantage of all of them if I was you guys this is really gonna help you not only I mean you might as well if you're using Facebook share and Facebook post like and post share you might as well use followers you might as well use likes and really just build yourself up on Facebook this is going to get Facebook to view you as an authority uh, and they're going to give you a lot more trust than a newly created account so you guys are definitely going to want to build that up as well um, to really increase your chances of being able to hit that trends list and really really reap in the profits from that and if this doesn't sound interesting enough Several years ago, social media began to take off in the job marketplace. Thousands of employers now actively seek people to handle their social media accounts. So think about this, guys. Think about the ability to trend your own hashtag and then show other businesses that you've been able to trend on social networks. That's massive. Literally. That is just incredibly, incredibly powerful you can literally charge people anywhere from I mean I've seen social media services from like a hundred bucks and I say five thousand in the presentation some of them go up upwards of five million dollars uh, so I'm not saying that you're gonna be the next millionaire Bill Gates but what I am saying is that this is very powerful information so you definitely are going to want to um, use you can once again you can use Facebook you can Facebook ads to send them to a squeeze page of collecting people who are interested um, you can actually download an, or purchase an email list of businesses use Facebook custom audiences I actually have that in my fast traffic uh, fast tra traffic secrets ebook of how to use custom audiences with mail lists to hit small businesses and get a lot of leads um, so you guys are definitely gonna want to reach out to them and but make sure that you're definitely doing this before you are trying to sign any contracts or anything like that you're trying to you know you're closing any deals because you don't want to have somebody pay you several thousand dollars and you don't know how to do it you haven't done it you can't proven you or you can I'm sorry proven you can't prove that you have done this already so show screenshot proof print it off whatever maybe send them um, to Twitter so that they can actually take a look at it while it's happening that'll definitely wow some people and you're talking about thousands of dollars so thank you guys so much for joining me for the trending module and you guys have, have really really just unlocked the very very tip of the iceberg for how powerful social media massacre is this is definitely one of the more powerful aspects but it's just a tiny little droplet that's about to fall into the ocean so hopefully I'll see you guys soon in more modules and best of luck guys I want to hear some amazing testimonials See you soon.